So, looks like Halo 3 and Halo Reach's servers are down. Online services for Legacy Halo Xbox 360 titles have been discontinued. The affected games will remain playable indefinitely, but some experiences will be impacted. Servers are not down. They're missing in action. Never forget the unforgotten. Wow. Went from fucking... 100... No, what the fuck is that? 1080-888 gamers online. <laughs> huge amount of people coming together one last moment to play to uh, to see the death of a legacy of a legacy that was uh marked on this earth for many years halo 1 2 and 3 and even reach for the xbox 360 is now shut down indefinitely never to come back it is depressing there's you know, as far as I can tell, there is still a dedicated person out there who, in a dedicated group of people, who have been keeping up the PlayStation 3 Team Fortress 2 game for years. Um, I don't know if they they're still keeping it up, but there's a Discord server and a bunch of people who are dedicated to keeping the servers online for specifically... Team Fortress 2 for the PlayStation 3 from the orange box. Um, and it's most of the time it's dead. But you can still play them um, to this day. And whenever people do play it, it's usually like a, like a big event for that Discord server. And they just somehow have a connection with someone within a company that owns the server who is still able to keep it up and running. Um, I don't know if that's true, but that was true during that one point in time in like probably like 2018, 2017. Maybe 20, yeah, 2017 or 2018. You are no longer able to play these four games um, on the original Xbox and play the original games online, the multiplayer section. Um, Halo 2. Halo 3, of course. I think Halo 2's been... I think Halo 1 and 2 have been shut down for a good while. Because those were on the Xbox One. Like, the original Xbox. And that server... The servers have been shut down for the original Xbox for a long time. But Halo 3 and Reach have been on Xbox 360. And those ones have been shut down today. And it was more of a big deal for Halo 3. Because people like Halo 3... A lot more than Halo Reach. Most fans, at least. Like, most dedicated fans. There, uh, Halo Reach does have its fans, but I don't think... I think people just kind of forgot that Halo Reach was also being killed off as well. It was more... Halo 3 was way more in the spotlight than Halo... <laughs> Halo Reach, as far as I can tell. I, I'm pretty sure Halo... Halo 3 has been... Or Halo Reach has been shut down. Here it is. It's right here. Halo Reach. A lot of people don't even fucking know that Halo Reach got shut down. Here's the, here's the uh, tweet. There you go. It's been shut down. As of 1:17 p.m. They've made the tweet. Um. I know there's some people like fucking, sub some ordinary gamers who just says. Oh, it's good that things have to die eventually, but um, it doesn't. It never had to. It really never had to. Um, there could have been an update that let people had the abilities to make dedicate or had the ability to make a dedicated server for these games. They could have easily. They, they could have updated it to have that, but instead they'd rather just shut down the servers and leave it there. Um, and uh, there's no way to play these original games online anymore. You'd have to do specifically LAN parties probably for them again if you want to play online. Uh, if you want to play the multiplayer again, um, so there's no longer a way for you to uh, play these um, classic games in their multiplayer section. A whole, a whole section of a game has been completely cut off from use um, for most people. Because who imagine being able to set up like let's say like six Xboxes 
all of them with Halo 3 um, with a controller. At least one controller. Have them all set up to start a LAN party. Um, that is really just... It's already frustrating to do. But yeah, that's something that is just um, a huge amount of work already. And nobody even really does LAN parties that much anymore. Unless it's within like a dedicated community or group of people. Like... Um, that allows you to do stuff like that, but, you know, really don't have the ability to do that for most people. Um, so yeah, fuck you, Microsoft. Uh, I, I care about fucking game preservation and this shit does not preserve its game. The fact that they left it running for this long was really cool. I think that was great. But now I can't even experience its legacy. Because um, I kind of had the idea that I wanted to try it out. And can't even do it now. <laughs> can't even go into into the game and try doing something like that. Um, so, yeah. That's great, dude. Um, and, yes, yeah, so again, like, fucking... Some ordinary gamers being like, oh, it's a good thing. No, it isn't. It's not really a good thing, even if it was a good time, because now there's people who can't even experience that. Like, just because you got to experience it, and now it's gone, doesn't mean that that, that same memory could have been shared with someone else. If you didn't want that to be, like, the case, then you could have just, I don't know, fucking never played it again afterwards and then he could be like oh man that was a fun time like i like same with like for me like i could go back and maybe play some black ops 2 if i really wanted to but i'm like i don't fucking i don't need to anymore i've already i got that experience growing up with it so i don't have to go back and try it because i got to experience it and i know for a fact that i probably won't get that same experience anymore um but for Halo 3, and Halo 2, and Halo 1, and Halo Reach, I won't get to experience the legacy versions of them. Um, so that brings us to uh, what we're doing today. Playing some Halo Master Chief Collection. Um, I got the multiplayers uh, set up for them. Um, so Master Chief Collection was created by 343. It was a way to bring all the games into modern systems. And I don't know about its launch at all. Because I never owned an Xbox growing up at all. I've never owned an Xbox. Um, so I don't know what the experience, the original experience is like to play these games. The only one that I played when I was a kid was ODST. I never finished it. I played a tiny bit of, of Firefight. I was hoping... I it, This was also my first time figuring out that um, ODST actually never had a multiplayer function. <laughs> that was my... I was like, oh, I'm going to get to play... I'm going to get to play the Halo multiplayer for the first time. And it was ODST. <laughs> you had to... Uh, you had to add... Uh, uh, think about my letdown that was. How much of a letdown it was for that. Uh, go into gameplay and then go to games okay yeah so we have um we have the multiplayer for halo 1 halo 2 halo 3 and halo reach i've only ever really um played halo 3 and halo reaches multiplayer on here i don't think there's any reason to ha play halo 1 or 2 1 or 2 just because i don't really see the point but if i really want to then i'll give it a try but halo 3 and halo reach are the ones we're doing for the most part today there's um escalation slayer i don't really they changed up the game mode oh that's like the thing they chose for this week i guess but um for what i understand about this whole fucking piece of shit is uh they've completely botched all of the games uh as far as i know the only ones that have barely been touched is some it's somewhat been preserved like halo 1 which no one really ever plays the multiplayer for um halo 1's multiplayer right here i don't know that many people who are playing halo 1 another thing is also they don't ever tell you how many people are playing online like uh multiplayer games used to do um which was interesting but yeah this one they were like ah fuck you um so yeah uh here's here's where the game has they 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 for some reason wanted to try to like 
add shit to the games that didn't need it. So you have these battle passes here, um, which has was a little bit confusing for me to use uh, for the first time. But as you can see here, this is all Halo Reach stuff. Um, Halo Reach, Halo Reach, Halo Reach, Halo Reach, Halo Reach. Um, as far as I can tell, I think I have every customization in Halo Reach now. Um, because I started the game and it just kind of gave it to me. Um, I think each and every one of these has their own things going on. Um, which I don't even know how you get these. I guess these are like for like events, I think. Um, I don't know about half of them. But, um, yeah, so what they did was they took these games... And for some reason, they added the ability for you to, um, uh, they, they just, like, kind of, like, somewhat upgraded or updated the games, but it just kind of made it, <laughs> it just kind of broke a lot of stuff for the characters, like, like, um, because these games didn't really have that much customization originally, like, uh, Halo CE, the only thing you really could change was your skin. This was the only thing you could change, um, in the original multiplayer. So you had all these different ones here, and this was basically all you had to work with um, to dis make yourself distinct. That's how it started. Um, there was no such thing as weapon skins, or um, yeah, there was no such thing as weapon skins, or um, like vehicle skins, or visor colors. There was no such thing as that, as far as I know. Um, because I don't know. I, I've i kind of had to somewhat do my own research to figure out. There was, as far as I know, again, there was not that much customization for, yeah, for Halo 2. Which, by the way, the only thing you could really change is your color. But this time they gave you a little bit more extra options for color. It's so, like you could do this and do this, right? Um, white? Oh, white looks good. I'll do, I'll do steel. But uh, as you can see, yeah, there's not really much options you can do for this one because not a lot of people are playing specifically these two games. Um, Halo, I actually don't know much about Halo Anniversary. I just know that a lot of dedicated fans say that they fucked up the Halo 2 and that the Halo 2 Classic is the PC version of Halo 2, which was apparently kind of worse than the than the, um, the console version of Halo 2. From what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. But I'm going to take that as hearsay. I'm going to assume that that's true. Considering it's from a huge fan of that, of that one. Um, Halo 3. I don't know why they let you do that. Halo 4 has the most customization of the all these. And Halo Reach has the second most. Um, until they started doing the Battle Pass shit. Um, and then it's only been about Halo 3. Um, it's all, it's only pretty much Halo 3. You have Halo 4 stuff as well, but that's just because that's their, that's their game. Um, uh, but as you can see, it's mostly Halo 3 for the majority of these. They only did, they didn't even do anything for Halo 2. Um, they did pretty much nothing for Halo 2. The only thing they did for Halo 1 was add new visors and, um, vehicle skins. And they only did one battle pass for Halo Reach. So, it's only been Halo 3 and Halo, um, Halo 4 now. Uh, and uh, some Halo Reach stuff, like every once in a while. Uh, which just kind of tells me that, um, Halo 3 is their most played game. Because they wanted to shove as much shit into the game as they could. Um, I don't know much about the shop. It's called the exchange, which I guess is a way for you to not enough uh, points. This is their way of just adding random stuff to the game. I don't know like exactly why or if you have to pay for that. If this monetization thing here was something you had to pay for, like, you, you could buy season points, which I don't think you can. I'm not sure how the whole level up system works. But, um, this is just kind of like the seeds that were rooted for Halo Infinite, which I will get into Halo Infinite. Um, but, yeah, the, they, they did, like, all this, like, extra shit for Halo 3, which never really needed it to begin with, right? Um, Halo 3 never had, the only things that Halo 3 had originally were these, were the helmets. These were the, the helmets that they added to the game that you could get. Recon you couldn't even get unless you had a specific thing you could do. 
Um, everyone likes this one right here. This is a, a lot of people's favorite as well as Recon. Um, and yeah, so that's what's going on here. Um, I'm a, again, I'm a new fan to Halo, the, to the Halo series. Um, and I've always known about Halo. I just never owned an Xbox, so I could never play them. And I've only just recently got a, got a try of them. Uh, yeah, they fucking, so they just started throwing. So here's how you can tell the difference between the original stuff. Um, look at the helmet design, right? Um, it kind of fits with the armor here. Ignore the pants. Um, that's new. That was added into this. Then you look at the air assault helmet. And look at how much texture and, like, how much shit's going on with, like, how it looks. There's way too much polygons and, like, fucking shit going on. Like, too much modeling going on that doesn't even fit the original design of the body. It's completely, like, it's, like, uncanny. With how much they just kind of threw this shit in here. And these are all mostly, I think, Halo 4 stuff. I think they just kind of threw Halo 4 items into Halo. Into Halo 3. Just kind of threw it in there. Because most people are playing this one. So I guess for some reason, to keep like a f player base up, they need to throw this stuff in here. I don't know if they... I feel like them doing all this stuff here is kind of their way of just like... Okay, we need to, next time we make a game, we need to actually monetize this shit. This is so stupid, though. I think, I hate all, all of these. I hate everything here, because it's nothing really, it doesn't look at, like anything related to lore whatsoever. There's no lore to this. It's just, like, over-the-top bullshit that's just stupid. Who the fuck is gonna wear this? Or this? It's way too over the top to what the game originally had. I already think that this is a little over the top, but at least now, like at least it somewhat makes sense. This is this was for spacesuits. Um, these were for scouts or like people. I think this was like um, like uh, people who would snipe a lot. I think people who sniped a lot would wear this or this, um, or this one. I think I think it was rogue. Um, there's a lot of cool lore within these. There's a really cool video you can watch that actually talks about the lore of, like, the armor pieces and stuff like that. Um, this is, I think, the Mark VI. Either Mark V or Mark VI, this armor. It might be the Mark V. Um, just by looking at it. Uh, let me actually check because there's an er er OG helmet. Not in this game, obviously. That I well, actually, no, wait. I'm, I'm dumb. The original helmet is in here. Let me see. I don't... Th here it is. Right here. Mark 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, I think, the Mark 6? Yeah, the Mark 6. This is the Mark 6 armor. Uh, you can get the Mark 5 helmet in here. The Mark 5 armor was prior. And for some reason, the Mark 6 isn't in Halo Infinite. <laughs> they did the Mark 7, which I think is new. I think that's, like, completely new to that series... To the series. Um, and I think Mark 7 looks disgusting. Um, but that's my opinion. I think Mark 5 is also decent. I just think Mark 6 and Mark 5 are the best what looking ones, um, for the most part. Um, but yeah, shoulder pads, the only customization you had for, um, Halo 3 was the helmet. Um, I, th no visor. You couldn't change the visor color. It was always, uh, this color right here. Just like Halo 2 and 3, or 2 and 1. Um, you could change the shoulder pads. But I think you didn't you didn't choose individually which ones. Um, you can tell which ones are original and which ones are not. I think a lot of these are original. I think all these are original. Um, everything else is not. Clearly, these were all added after the fact um, from Halo 4 for the most part. And some of them are s new kind of models. Um... I don't like how they look, only just because I would get this one, but it doesn't even look like an ODST shoulder pad. I don't know what the fuck these are, uh, to be honest. I think they look disgusting. I think uh, this one looks the most normal, like the original. Um, and uh, then you get to the like really, really stupid stuff. And uh, the chest plate, you could not change the chest plate in the original. These are all... I, I'm pretty sure. I actually, I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna be honest with you, but I'm pretty sure you couldn't change the chest piece in the original. 
I think you could get flame. Flames on your head. I don't know why. I don't know why that's called Legacy. And then the rest of these are from Halo 4, Halo 5, etc. Um, because they were just like, oh, we might as well put it in here. We need to get more players. You have all this shit. There was no way of changing your arms in the original, which is why you only have the Mark VI. If you have anything unlocked starting this, um, you just had, like, the original stuff. It was only the shoulder pads and I think the helmet. That's about it. <clears throat> Everything else is new. Um, I don't know why the fuck you'd have this or this, uh, in Halo, but, you know, fuck it, I guess, right? <laughs> and then tech suit, this was definitely not in, in the original. These were from Halo 4, uh, 4, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, they, they completely messed up, um, the look of Halo, the original Halo 3. Um, with whatever they fucking could just throw in here so they could add more stuff. I don't know why. Um, I'm not sure. <sighs> um, but I guess some people like it, some people don't. It's personal preference. I just, I would prefer to be able to play as legacy as possible. Which you can actually do. If you go to um, gameplay and you scroll down to here and you go to Halo 3 you can turn off the new skins so it'll only it'll skins will appear as they did in the original game the issue the only issue you will have in with new skins is um, you'll have the original models you'll have all the original stuff the only thing you will not see is a player a distinctive player um, because most, almost all the players will have new shit on them. And, or, I, th I don't exactly know the full logistics. I think if you wear the original stuff from the game, I think your character will appear to people who have this disabled as, like, they should. Because they have, like, original stuff on. But, um, I think that could be completely wrong. And from what I understand, almost all people will just look like the classic Mark VI, Mark VI, Mark VI. That's about it. Um, but most of the characters, they look like their original counterparts, um, which, yeah, uh, save settings, that's fine, I didn't really change anything, and then Halo Reach, uh, they added some stuff here, but it's not too much, per se, and I know people like some stuff about ha Reach, I actually kind of, I kind of hate Reach, actually, kind of. I just don't like the difference between Halo 3 and Halo Reach. The problem for me was that they added sprinting to the game. I hate running, or uh, the running mechanic, it, because it just makes it just like the other fucking games. It's just, it doesn't make it distinct anymore, um, and strategic anymore, if you can really say that. Um, also, I might play with a controller. I, I mean, nah, I I'll play with mouse and keyboard. But I've noticed whenever I played Halo 3 um, on here, everyone was using a controller. And they were still fucking dominating. So I might just play with a controller just to get the experience of playing with a controller. So, let's talk about Halo Infinite. <laughs> Let's talk about the f fun fucking game. Let's let's review, shall we? So, Halo Infinite. Almost, <laughs> almost, uh, at 100 hours playtime. Um, at 92.4 hours of playtime on Halo Infinite, and we're getting close to the end of the battle pass. Uh. Let's just say that Halo Infinite, the problem with Halo Infinite is very clear. Everyone's been saying what the problem is with Halo Infinite, yet it does not change one thing. It does not change one thing at all. It's it's f actually fucking annoying how much, like, hip like how much is just so fucking, like, just like, oh, we'll, we'll fix it, oh, dude, we'll fix it, bro. Um... I have a list of videos. Alright. 
so what makes halo infinite so inf um so infamous in my eyes so i guess the first things first let's start with a video they made um here's a video um this was them showing off this was a trailer for uh them talking about the armor customization in halo infinite the body of customization content that we have on day one look at this shit look at this helmet dude dude look at him wearing the mark 7 helmet with the vandal visor war master's prize which you can't even fucking get as far as i know the uh capo Capilex, oh, actually, wait. Those fucking gloves are the only gloves you have as an option. <laughs> Those aren't even fucking, like, gloves you can unlock. They're just the only gloves you can get for the Mark Seven. Oh, dude, Paradise Rig? What the fuck are you talking about, you fucking idiot? Oh, dude, M Armor Core Mark Seven, Dude, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, these UA-type SA knee pads. Fuck off, dude. So, I, I, can you even get those? I... In fucking the Mark Seven armor, <laughs> can he even get those in the Mark Seven armor? Armor coating, scorpion punch, dude, dude, fuck yeah, not even in the game, dude. <laughs> if this is, you can't even get it Ensure normally, like for free, of or not even for free, dude. Look at this, dude. You have to fucking play the campaign to get this, dude. For Spartans on they didn't even tell you. I don't even tell you that this is actually campaign exclusive. Wild Coven. If that even is a can campaign exclusive. Um, the battlefield. Coatings offer us a unique opportunity to craft some hyper-polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. Mm -mm. So we're coming at this from mm -mm. a mm -mm. Mm -mm. first mentality. All no, of really. Words are single source, so you're never going to be confused about where things come from. If you can unlock something in the battle pass, we're not going to let any other players circumvent that by purchasing it out of the storefront. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through playing the game. <laughs> yeah, only through playing the game, huh? Yeah, sure. Sure, yep. That's what it is. You can only get them through playing the game. Yeah, fuck off. You fucking dumbass pieces of shit. You're a fucking liar. Of course that shit changes over time. Don't make... Number one rule whenever developing a game. Don't make promises you're not sure you're actually gonna ever make. Um, let's look at... So, for instance... Um, uh, we're gonna get into that. Um, so when the game launched... Uh, they removed the ability... Check this out. Oh yeah, dude. I I've known about this forever. Um I've been complaining about this since like PlayStation 4 where every game I've gotten, the disc the only point of the disc is to basically tell you, "Hey, this person bought the game. Let them fucking put it in. You still have to download from the internet." I always hated that, and this has been a thing since hey, like PlayStation 4, PlayStation like PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 were the last games to actually let you fully do it. Once we got to Xbox 1 and PlayStation 4, they don't even really use the disc at all for like 90% of that shit. It just the only thing it does is um all, all like the disc will do is it's basically like kind of like multiple discs, right? You, you remember how PC games there would be multiple installation discs to complete an installation? It's kind of like that, but they just kind of try to ignore that entirely. Um so 
companies for some reason i guess they just don't want to spend the money to give you more than to give you like two or three discs worth of installation to do which i guess they just didn't figure out how to do that um so pretty much anybody who wants to actually fully install their game if they can't even have access to the internet they can't even play halo infinite um so they're completely screwed they spent sixty dollars for a game they can't even play uh offline which is a huge problem. This is like the huge, this is the biggest issue is that half your game is locked away. There's no way, like what if those sh servers shut down? You can't even get fucking Halo Infinite again. You can't finish downloading Halo Infinite. Like how are they going to do that? Like that it, they're going to have, it's going to have to come from a server. Fine. So this is very, very scary to see that you cannot pull a full game on a disc anymore. Yeah. That's been the case for a long time, buddy. It's not, it's, this is not, this is just one example of many. Like, Red Dead Redemption 2, I had to, I had to go online to even do that. Um, and, uh, let's just say, uh, when the game came out, right, when Halo Infinite came out, uh, they, they obviously made the multiplayer completely free to play. But what they ended up doing was doing everything wrong with making a multiplayer game from a franchise is that they botched the customization compared to Halo Reach and Halo 4. Completely botched it. Um, the uh, like Changing your armor color is now completely locked off to a armor coding so they can make more monetization out of it the everything has been designed for the sake of trying to cop you out of money as much as possible um because they chose for some reason someone at microsoft or someone in in 343 somebody like a group of people were like Let's make it free to play, but we have to monetize it so they can make a shit ton of money um, because it, uh, Master Chief Collection, I guess, wasn't profitable uh, enough. So they're like, we need to make more money, of course. And so let's 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 sell our brand to the free to play market. And um, the issue with like free to play like this whole idea i've had this conversation with somebody on discord which is obviously it's discord so why why have it this an actual civil discussion with anyone um on discord that is a stupid idea um and they did not give a shit about free to play games they thought it was great because obviously you're a kid and you think that free to play means oh i get to play my games for free dude you don't have to fucking do all that shit dude but you know what you don't realize is you're also supporting this um terrible business practice that similar to like how companies are going in the nfts it's a terrible business practice that people are buying into and a lot of these like kids who don't understand that buying a game actually means something and that you get a full game whenever you buy it the fact that they can get away with selling a campaign a whole half of a game for sixty dollars is just mind-blowing to me we're gonna sell a campaign for the sixty dollars and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make this free-to-play game we're gonna go ahead and put all of the worst business practices that you can possibly think of because we think because mobile games make a shit ton of money so let's put it into our games the problem with this free to play business practice is that these I feel like these companies are going to slowly start rolling out everything from mobile games when it comes to free to play games because they make so much money and they're profitable. That's what what happens is um your money means something to all these people and what's stopping what's stopping Microsoft or any other free to play game like Call of Duty Warzone from adding advertisements per game? They put an ad right in there per game that you have to watch before you can play another game. Or let's say like uh, Clash of Clans, you have to wait until you can play another game. Or you have like a life system so you can play 10 games and then you have to wait an hour or spend money to keep playing your game. Um, 
what stopped what's stopping a company like that moving into that market entirely and then just completely closing it down making a shit ton of money from people having to put ads and it's like okay let's give them a way to circumvent the ads by let's add a subscription to the game so now people will if they pay us monthly they will remove the ads um and then on top of that you have the battle pass you can pay for the battle pass um but you still have the ads by the way or we can remove the ads for 30 days whenever you pay for the battle pass um stuff like that right um what's stopping companies from being able to do that because we're we're oh, completely okay with them doing a free-to-play system and what are they we gonna do complain about it because it seems like complaining helps in some aspects but it's not helping enough uh, what happened with everybody with complaining about how expensive the stores are, then they sell an item like cat ears and immediately they're like, oh, well, I guess people are buying this. Let's just fucking keep doing it. Fucking people are so stupid. Um, and like they're so against it. And then they see fucking cat ears and they're like, oh, dude, I'm going to fucking be a cat girl. Ooh, woo, cat boy. Ooh, woo. Fucking bullshit. And now they're like, oh, I guess we'll just keep the prices. So literally this week, nothing has changed with the prices still, despite the complaints. Because they're making money from it, still people are buying it. And that's the problem, is that if their game's free to play, eventually someone's going to fucking buy into it. Eventually someone's going to do it. Um, and that's what's happening. And it, it's just it's just like if they can get away with that, what else can they get away with, right? How far can they take it? Why is there rarities on items? A lot of people are assuming, a lot of people are theorizing is that the rarities, originally there was going to be loot boxes in this game on top of the battle pass, um, which they did for Halo 5. Um, and nobody liked that decision, which is probably why they removed it last minute, probably. And now all of these items have this stupid-ass fucking rarity system on it, despite everyone getting, uh, like, the fucking Mark 7 is a rare tier. Why is it a rare tier if everyone who downloads the game gets it? What's rare at that point? Everybody else? <laughs> it's so stupid. The Yaoi armor, the fucking, that's what I call it, the Yaoi armor is a legendary despite it being a free event and anybody being able to get it like the rarities make no sense i don't know why the rarities are there they make they they serve no purpose whatsoever um so the fact that they're in there confuses me entirely and why they haven't removed it is because no one complains about it same with the like the item swap thing no one has complained about the challenge swap system at all um, no one's complained about it, uh, which is the huge problem. And on top of that, the reason another fucking, like, vicious predatory, like, marketing system that they did is that they fucking sold the fuck, they, like, they, they would sell you fucking skins for buying items. Let me sh check this shit out. Here's, uh, fucking... Here is, I do not agree to your policy, fuck off. Um, I, I like how even if you were to deny it, they don't let you do anything with it. Like, I've actually, I've had like a terms and service and like, hey, do you agree to our cookies? And I clicked, I do not. And it does not go, it, the button doesn't even work. <laughs> it's, it's funny how websites just it, it expect you to immediately click that. Um, you see this? If you buy these headphones... You will get this skin. You see people, I see people wear this every once in a while. Guess how much this is? Guess how much it is? $170 for a, head, for, for a skin. And you see the keyboard there. Oh, you thought the keyboard wasn't part of it. Oh, the keyboard's part of it, baby. Check this shit out. Keyboard? Fucking, you saw that? For a battle, battle rifle skin. You get a fucking shitty razor um bullshit that is awful and dog shit uh where's the price at where is it uh buy yeah buy where's the price 180 dollars for a keyboard for a shitty fucking keyboard um for a battle rifle skin and you know that the sad part is that people are buying these people are buying these just for the skins and i that they like to think that they're not these are dog shit uh like razor has terrible fucking garbage you don't even get anything for buying the graphics card, by the way. Um, 
Razer X Halo exclusive giveaway with AMD. Fuck off. Um, and then you don't get anything for this. You get... Oh, actually, no, you do. You get five challenge swaps for buying a, um, um, this. <laughs> get nothing for the graphics card. You get a shitty fucking emblem for, uh, your car. You don't even get it for, like, your character or anything. <laughs> Unless you do. Who knows? Um, and people fucking buy this shit. You wanna know how people buy into this shit? Um, there's a weapons, there's, a uh, armor skins for nail polish. Um, there's armor skins for, um, playing 150, one, 1,600, I think, it's 1,600 items, or, what, or, sorry, hours in Halo 5. You have to play 100, and I think six, or, sorry, 1,600 hours in Halo 5. I'm pretty sure. Check this out. So this person's showing off their stuff here. Right? Hundred and fifty two days or something like that. For this skin? That's what they um promised you. This is what it actually looks like. You know so the ironic part is that you can't even use it for the Mark V or the Yaoi. You can't make use it for any any other skin other than the Mark Seven. I know that for a fact. Anybody who got gets this shit is a fucking simp. Oh yeah, you get um you get black, red, and white. Uh shiny. Shiny black, red, and white. Um for uh for that. And it's for all the guns. That's the AJSA uh skin. Which you can't even get anymore. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's all the uh, basic stuff. You get the Platinum Anniversary. If you start, there it is. <laughs> Keep an eye out for trouble. It's not an awful coding. It's pretty bad. Six, 1,600 hours to unlock. <laughs> and you can't even get it, by the way. You can't get that anymore. That was, that was, a, that was a limited time thing. So, if you did not know about that before, good luck, uh, good job. You, there's no way you're gonna be able to get it. Um, so, uh, that sacrifice thing, right? Um, by the way, you know how fucking rushed this shit is. If you look at this, oh, sorry, you didn't see it. Here it is. Um, they did not texture it. And um, they textured it in the picture. There's so many things in this game that is just there that exist in the like, in the actual market thing, and you can't even get it. They're locked off because they're gonna sell it. Um, there's so many items where it's like, stay tuned for more. Why can't you just let us get this? Why did you replace it um, with not being able to get it in the battle pass or something like that? Right? Um, they also have armor. That you can't even get yet, but it's it, you only can see it. You can only see the armor, in um on bots. Like the bots can do this shit. You can't even wear these um normally. The only way you can wear this um the George like shoulder pad, is from using his uh kit. That's the only way you can wear them. You can't wear them outside of it because some of the Reach character kits are um not only useless or pointless. But you can't even customize them. And they have unique armor parts to them that you can't get on other parts. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let's see here. Um, there's there's the, the knife one from um, Emil, I think. Um, let's see here. This one, I think that's a new helmet. That's a new armor piece, I think. It's hard to tell. Um, this one has a bunch of shit going on. This is a new armor piece right here, as you can see. Um, cat ears, which this video was released in November. The cat ears weren't even released yet. This video was vid footage. This was proof that this was in the game prior, and they were ready to fucking release this shit. November? Yeah. Fuck me, man. That didn't release until December, I think. No. Um, this is actually what we're gonna soon learn is a um unreleased uh new thing going on soon a new event 
which will be right here. Um, this is the new event that they're doing, and that's that's an armor coating that you're going to be getting in this event. They're already going, they're, I've already given up. Um, I will get into this, but they have already given up on putting in lore-specific shit in their game. They're already doing stuff like this. They're already doing shit that looks like this to, like, match, like, Fortnite and shit like that. Look at this shit. Come on. The game hasn't even been out for a year, and you're already doing stupid shit like this. Like, come on. Like, you gotta be do better than this. Like, come on. I w what about the fucking Mark V armor? You haven't even released it. You've given us the helmet. Well, actually, no, you haven't given us the helmet yet. That um, I'll actually get into that right here. You act actually haven't even gotten into the helmet yet. Look at this. Mark V. Haven't even given us the Mark V helmet. They don't even have the Mark VI armor, armor core in the game. They have Mark VII. Um, what the fuck? Why don't they have the Mark VI in here? Like, come on. Really? Like, I get it. They, they were they were on vacation, dude. They had so much time to fucking... They should have been given more time. If this is what came out of it, man. Um, they, they needed to be given more time. Um, but yeah, cool. You can get the Mark V armor, probably. I don't know, like, exactly... I don't exactly know. Yeah, they're bringing back the, CQ, the CQB. Which looks... Okay, I think it looks way better here than here. This is just like a gray shitty fucking texture. I hate the like the cl like the gray shit. Um, ooh, that's a nice fucking shit right here. Armor sets. So these are the armor kits, not armor sets. Um, which are all probably Mark V related. So this is where it's actually going to be somewhat interesting right here. This this one, whenever this thing is com is happening, the other that other event where it's like over the top and stupid, I hate it. This is stupid. Fuck that. Uh, these are awful. And the party favor thing, fuck that. I don't give a shit at all. And that's probably, these are all going to be paid for. You have to pay for those. Um, I'm going to be very pissed off if this helmet and this helmet is going to be pay. You have to buy it. I'm going to hate that. That's gonna be that's gonna actually send like piss people off, uh, probably, if they keep putting helmets in the pay like the store where you can't even get them, normally, you have to fucking do the other shit. Um, here's the new challenge for this week, by the way. Um, you get a sacrifice uh, emblem. This is the third week they've used the sacrifice emblem. Third week in a row. Well, not in a row, but like they did this, they did it again for armor. Or no, 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 for a vehicle. And now they're doing it for armor. So it was an actual nameplate. Then it was an armor. Then, by the way, um, in the other games, you could actually customize your emblem, and you can you have to choose one in this game. You have to choose your your nameplate and shit, uh, which is really stupid. Uh, really fucking stupid. I love it, dude. Uh, cheating is also at an all time high, which they haven't really addressed that much. Um, watch this. This is just, uh, a bot started shooting at that person. Oh, sorry. Actually noticed that that person isn't moving. Shoot that guy. Good job. Start shooting at them. Here's uh here's the worst one. Uh, worst offender on, a, on a, well, one of the worst offenders. Check this out. Not even aiming at them. Still getting a perfect, even though they weren't even aiming at them. Knows enemy position pre nades it. Perfect kill. Yep. Not even aiming. Still somehow gets a perfect kill. Makes sense. And they're fucking Onyx level. Um, This is a problem still. Uh, so that's epic, dude. Uh, so yeah, this armor. This is what it looks like. Yep. You saw what it looks like here. Um, and then uh, this dude... That's actually the, the coating that came with the cat ears, I think. Unless it was pink. I, I don't remember. Um, nor do I care. Um, let's see here. Yep, the shoulder pads again. Oh, those are new shoulder pads. Those aren't in the game. And yeah, that's pretty much most of it. Uh, 
Yeah. Pretty much most of it. I, I'm sure they show some other things too that are just crazy, but... Um, yeah, so here's the fucking rare exclusive fucking bullshit. It's not rare, by the way. Uh, Razor. Um, that's, this is the Razor armor thing, the $170 skin. Uh, fuck that. And people who like it are stupid. They need to fucking stop. Um, progression doesn't really exist in this game properly. And, uh, but yeah, you have people like this who are complete shills. They're complete whales who are buying this shit. And this is one of those people who are just fucking buying this shit. Look at this. Dude, look, check out, check out my fucking armor. Um, this was the Razor one. Uh, I believe this one is, um, there is one for nerf. Uh, I don't remember if this one's a nerf. I forget exactly where to get this one. I think they, uh, epic dude. Fuck yeah. Yeah, this person, uh, this is, this is, uh, I forget what the fuck it was. I think it was like, I, I, I think it was like the Lego sets or some bullshit like that. Honestly, this one, um, is the, uh, is the, uh, the, like, lip gloss. They went out of their way to buy their lip gloss so they could get the code for the skin. This is the kind of person that does this shit. Uh, this one is the Nerf gun. As I th I'm pretty sure this one might be the Nerf gun. Um, this one's Redshift. I actually don't know what this is from, but I know for a fact that this shit is, like, you have to do a specific exclusive, like, you have to buy something. It's, it's very similar to, like, what a lot of games do, where, like, they fucking give you exclusive dog shit. If you buy other products outside, there's the Platinum Anniversary, everyone who played the game, like, basically first week. And then this one, this person also went out of their way to play 16,000 hours, or, sorry, 1,600 hours in fucking Halo 5 Guardians for that specific skin. Then they go over to the emblems, which are exclusive. You get, like, an emblem or whatever for it. Um, this one. Yep. Not that one. This one right here. And that one, everyone basically got that first week. Uh, let's see. And then he's gonna go to his armor. His, uh, yeah, you got these. Exclusive. Yep. Uh, that's standard issue. There's the nerf gun. <laughs> the fucking... Nerf guns. Um, there's the other one, I uh, the up gloss thing, and then there's the uh platinum anniversary that you get from that, and then there's the sixteen hundred hours one. I don't know how to get that one, but I'm pretty I'm sure it's not that hard. There's the fucking nerf pellet thing <laughs> in this fucker. From like the Lego set, I guess. Yeah, it's probably from like the Mega Blocks or whatever it's called. Yeah, this person just fucking hell. The razor shit, like, legit, this person spent, remember, they have every skin from all the razor stuff that you saw there. They have, if you saw that emblem, you saw the BR, um, let's see, yep, I have it right there. They spent probably over $400, $500, something, probably even more than that, for all of these skins, before the game even came out. And spent 1,600 hours for that skin. Just think about that. Just think about... Is this game... Is that worth... Like, $500? Is this worth... Is this worth $180 to you? I don't think it is. I don't think black and green is worth $180. Plus the shitty fucking keyboard that is gonna break in, like... Five months. Like, I, I get, you could have spent that money to get a better keyboard, or just, like, you could have spent that money to get a better, like, CPU, or more RAM, or anything else that could actually somewhat benefit you. It's, it's, it's crazy. The people, that fucking Nerf gun, shit. <laughs> That, and remember, this person didn't buy those for the items because they you can clearly tell they went out of their way to get all of them. You clearly – it's clear to me. It's clear to everybody who watches this video. This person went out of their way to fucking buy them specifically for the skins. Specifically. 
for the skins. They don't care about anything else. They wanted the skins. And they spent... They fucking wailed their money. They fucking threw their money at Microsoft for them. And they are encouraging this behavior. These people... are These people are fucking encouraging the behavior. Do not witch hunt these people, by the way. Do not witch hunt this person. Like, at all. Please, even though they're a fucking idiot and fucking shilling their money out to a company um for bad practices bad business practices um i i would guarantee if the if if microsoft started nfts this person would immediately buy them if it meant they could get a new skin on halo infinite it's so fucking annoying uh the shit the fucking it's it's just like week after week it's just been dog shit right it's just been stupid like um, like, my god, it's like, um, you fucking, you can't unlock normal, you can't play the game just like normally and unlock really anything, um, everything that you unlock from the battle pass from Mark 7 doesn't exist, everything you get outside of the game is where you get stuff for Mark 7, um, I can actually check here, uh, I'll actually start Halo. Um, check this out. We're not gonna be here for too long. So, here's what I've been playing. I've been mostly using the armor core here. Um, here's the Mark V, or Mark Seven. This is what I've been able to get out of everything I've gotten from the Battle Pass and free, free stuff. Um, I've been able to get this from a week. Uh, here's all the camos I have here. Ghost Grey, um... I don't exactly see where that camo part is. I think it's on the top. I can't tell. Um, then you have fucking winter. This is was free, noble, and then you have that. Um, this helmet, aviator. I've only ever gotten three helmets uh, so far. The rest of these you can't even get them unless you buy this one. This one you ha you have to buy. This one you can't get, and this is the last, like, only free helmet you can get from the battle pass. Well, free. Not free, actually. The thing that I paid for, um, I can get for the battle pass there. Um, here's all the visors. Um, I think some of these, uh, I know for a fact that this one right here, or Vandal, it was one of these. Um, I think it was Sigil is one that I had to actually buy. Uh, or not buy, but I got for, like, a week. Like, the weekly thing. Um, chess piece. There's only three chess pieces I've ever gotten, and the rest you can't really get unless you pay for money. Um, so, Mark 7 exists only so they can sell stuff for, specifically the Mark 7. Mark 5 is not really been touched at all by the store. Um, only for, like, certain things like coatings. Sometimes they'll make a coating for every armor that currently exists. They probably won't have it for later ones. Um... Who knows? Um, yeah, here's the fucking gloves I was talking about. Literally, can't change them. These are just... There's only one kind of glove you can get. Um, only one kind of thing you can get for this one, by the way. At level 100. Um, never unlocked any of these because you can't get them. Unless you pay money. Uh, and then here's that fucking UA type thing. This is the only... Uh, no, that's the only thing you can get from these. The rest are just for, for uh, money. Can't get that, can't get this, can't get this. Um, and for the most part, there's these kill effects that you get at level 100 or whatever. I actually have this one. I just recently got it, but I don't give a shit about it. Um, I don't care about, like, fucking flames coming out of me because it looks stupid. Um, here's all the um, the esports shit that you can't customize or do anything with other than wear it. Um, only for the Mark Seven, Exclusively to the Mark Seven. And yeah, the rest of these are either you get them in the campaign, pay money for it, um, or they don't exist. Um, or store. Yeah. So. Pretty epic, right? Pretty cool. And that's pretty much all you could do with that. Um, Yori armor. Um, there's a bunch of shit in here. They they promised they wouldn't add anything else to the store related to, to Yori. They lied. And um, yeah, I haven't gotten pretty much any um, armor colors for... Uh, for the Mark V, because the rest of them are... Th this is the last color I'm probably going to be able to get for this. And the rest of these are probably you have to pay money for. This one you have to pay money for. Um, and yeah, anything that says stay tuned for details, that's basically them saying we're going to put this for on the store. So have fun. 
and for some reason they they just make it so fucking vague um and yeah pretty much um you have a distinct option of disgusting fucking blue disgusting fucking brown uh disgusting fucking brown too uh disgusting teal disgusting green um disgusting orange um disgusting green too disgusting purple disgusting yellow free shitty fucking skin that everybody wears that is way too shiny for its own good but it's still decent if this is what armors look like it would still look better than what they fucking do to them this one is disgusting fucking like beige with like a little bit of red um this is gray with like some red on there for some reason um on the same exact fucking blue as uh this one except it's uh s brighter and they changed where the blue goes on the armor so um beige again oh wait we already looked at that and then the rest are um things i can't get unless i give them money more money than they deserve um and then redacted records which uh by the way the only difference between the one you start with cadet gray and this one is um that there's not white uh and there's like the parts that are white are black and slightly gr a little bit more gray um and that's about it. This is the uh, best looking gray that you can get. Um, oh yeah, visors. Let's talk about visors. Uh, the rest of these, you can't get them. Uh, well, actually, these two you can get. But this one you cannot get because you have to pay money for it. Um, this one I got recently, I think. Um, but I'm working for towards getting this one. Because it looks the most like steel blue. Actually, I really like the regular blue one. Like that one, the heli jumper one. Uh, ODST armor, that's fine. Again, there's only one other glove you can get. And this is it's this one, the Challenger. Which looks the better, I guess. But not exactly what I was looking for, per se. Who knows? Uh, bracer, all that shit. Um, there's only two pouches in the game for the uh thing here and then of course there's these can't get that one the problem i have with um i'm gonna go ahead and close this out because i don't want my computer dying um the thing about this right the thing about it the problem i have with it is uh what happens after this battle pass ends because the battle pass was focused on um, the battle pass was almost entirely focused on the Mark V armor. That's what it was mostly focused on. So what's going to happen at the end of this battle pass? Are they going to completely ignore the Mark V to the, at that point? They're not going to add more skins to add to the game, which is supposed to allow you to make your character more uh, unique, right? So are they just going to stop adding skins to it? The problem with the armor coding system is that it's not universal. And they know that. They are completely aware of it not being universal or fair. They don't care. They do not care, and they're going to keep doing it. If you go to the store, the armors are the same still. The armors are, are still the same. Oh, actually, let me go ahead and um, let me pop it open here. Um, they, they're still $15, $10, um, which is expensive. That is, like, probably, like... That is probably 20% of how much the campaign was. Like, they want to charge you almost as much as you could buy a, an entire game for. They want you to spend a, how much money you could buy an indie game that has probably like 300 hours worth of gameplay. How much is Binding of Isaac? $15. You could buy a game that will give you over 300 hours worth of gameplay for a fucking skin for for some items in the game for for he helmet attachments for one armor core you can't even use it for the other armor cores it's only for one armor core cat ears you can only use it for the mark 7 so people are basically fucking sacrificing their 15 dollars however i think it was like 10 10 dollars 10 or 15 dollars for that fucking um cat ears for those cat ears that people everybody paid for and everybody's wearing it they inadvertently gave the okay to microsoft to keep doing it easily 
and they're gonna keep doing it because they know that they can get away with it and with these new this new event those items that have like the fucking like glowy rgb light fucking like mohawk shit they're they're gonna fucking they're they're just gonna sit there and they're gonna be like, okay we're gonna put this in the store and if people people are gonna buy it people are gonna buy it and then that's gonna uh, confirm that we should keep doing this um and keep the prices how they are because people are willing to pay for it that's the problem is that they immediately the cat ears gave them the okay so people want over the top fortnite bullshit in our game um let's go ahead and add uh, over top fortnite bullshit in our game um the same sh bullshit they did for the halo master chief collection it's just a bunch of glowy garbage if you look at the um visors in halo 3 let's pull up uh, halo 3 um if we go to the visors here um this is the shit they're gonna do to our game and they're gonna charge you money for it um it is it is absolutely ridiculous uh what these what they're gonna do to our game and it's just like oh my god and then people are gonna do it people are gonna shill out for it even though you could have gotten it for free you could have gotten it for free but you choose to accept it you choose to be okay with it because the game is free to play that's an awful mindset that's the problem with these fucking free to play bullshit is that you're not gonna get more out of your game out of it they're gonna shill you out of money for more of the game they're gonna shill you out more money for the sake of making more money off of you and adding less content to the game because they know hey we can just make this we can just sell this to people here check this out here's the default this was what was in the original game bronze silver platinum onyx right groovy <laughs> now we're getting a little bit ridiculous spectrum animated visors uh, we're getting there. It's not there just yet. Pastel. Now we have pastel versions like we needed it. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay. Red. Purple. Okay. Blue. Green. Okay. Yellow. Orange. Red. Pearlescent purple. Okay. A little bit weird, but alright. Um, pearlescent blue. Uh, pearlescent green. Pearlescent yellow. Pearlescent red. And now it's animated. Another sunrise animated. Neon. Um, it just changes colors. Burn radius changes colors. Nebula. Old salt. Just kind of animates. Plated. Yep. Red shift. Shadow. This is what they're going to do to Halo Infinite. They're going to just do this shit again because they're like, well, it makes us money, right? It'll make us money if we do shit like this. We just put a fucking JPEG image, then rotate it um, around the visor. This is what they're doing to their game. And they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They're gonna try to capture that as much as they can. Fucking k bl kill someone, fucking confetti comes out. Kill someone, fucking like people start Fortnite dancing. They're gonna add taunts to the game. And then you're gonna fucking taunt. We're gonna add a teabag button, so whenever you just killed someone, you throw a fucking hologram that will go and teabag a corpse. But yep, we're gonna do that. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna they're gonna fucking make it Fortnite 2.0, but Halo, and it's 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 just. <sighs> You know another business practice that I also hate is like these MMOs that make you spend $30 for the game, then on top of that spending a monthly fee to keep playing the online game. The game that you spent 30 fucking $60 for, and people just do it. It just became okay because people are doing it, because WoW did it. So let's just do it. 
Oh my god. Let's have a monthly subscription on our MMO game, which I, like, monthly subscription, okay, but, like, you're gonna make me charge, like, you're gonna charge me money up front to even own the game, and then you're gonna make me pay an extra amount of fee again for that said game? Like, why? Why do people let this, like, happen? It's so stupid. Like, what happened to just fucking buying a game and actually owning the fucking game? Like, like what, what happened to, like, preservation? Like, game preservation. Now it's, like, all locked behind servers and fucking, like, I have to sign into my Steam account to even access my games? Like, why? Why? What if I lose my password and then I lose my email and then I can't even access my email anymore, which had access to all of my stuff. Now I can't even fucking access any of it without, I guess, specifically contacting like Google or like whatever email service provider you have. Like we've got, we've became so dependent on our emails now. Like what happens whenever we lose that? It's just so much shit. Um... And then, like, man, like, Halo Infinite could have been so good. Like, the armor already looks good. Like, I think the armors look good. I like how the ODST armor looks. That's all that matters to me. I already got basically what I wanted. Um, I don't have much to complain about anymore. But I've also, in the process, kind of lost my incent uh, incentive to play the game. Because the, the like, gameplay pisses me off so much. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just like, just it just pisses me off just because, um, but Halo Infinite is kind of like a bastard child of like what Reach was, which is like, and then on top of that, they also don't have playlists that you can choose and pick from, like in Master Chief Collection or the other Halo games. Like, they just, they added it back after the fact, but it should have been in the game from the beginning, and there needs to be more playlists to choose from. Um, there's no browse, like, there's no server browser option. Uh, Forge mode doesn't exist. The theater mode sucks ass in Halo Infinite. You can only watch one movie before you have to restart the entire thing. And now on top of that, it's also buggy, so whenever you, um... Whenever you go into um, uh, uh, theater mode and someone ends up having a different AI, your character will suddenly have that AI for like like multiple games or until you like fix it or restart your game. The main menu does not need to look like that at all. You're completely just blowing up CPUs for the sake of having a beautiful background, which wasn't really that needed to begin with. You could have made it a like a pre-rendered background. Um, and it would have been fine, and it would have looked way better, and less made the game less buggy, um, because the, my computer has to load a fucking pre-rendered background, like, 3D background that exists for no reason other than to have just sit there in the menu, completely pointless, and then whenever you join somebody, your character just doesn't decide to appear until you hit tab and look at your fire team, then your character is suddenly there. You don't need to render the characters or render the world. You don't need that at all. Um, there's no lobby, so you can't see who you're playing with. Um, you have to restart the game. Every, like You have to reload in a new thing so that you're not in a consistent lobby every time, so if you want to leave the lobby, then you can't. Um, there's like there's so many things in the game that is just not there from like the past games and you knew for a fact that everybody would be playing the multiplayer more than your campaign and yet you didn't put as much development time into that um and you didn't give fucking you needed to give them the campaign more time to develop even though a lot of people like the campaign i don't know and i don't give a shit enough to play the campaign I just, I, I'm just, and my friend who spent more money than he should have to get further in the battle pass has already completed their battle pass and has no incentive to keep playing the game because they lost the progression that they had in the game. So now they don't even have a way to progress. That's pretty cool. Um... Now they they've they're not even playing the fucking game because the the weekly challenges suck ass and the weekly item 
fucking sucks ass because they've already gotten it two other times. Forcing players, you knew what you were fucking doing. Pu putting challenges in the game that you knew were going to be too difficult for people. Putting ranked challenges. Forcing people to play ranked who don't want to fucking play ranked. Um, in your challenges to complete a weekly challenge is stupid. You are an asshole. And, you know, you could have fixed it, but instead you decided, eh, we're just not gonna fix it. Sorry for everybody, it looks like you're just not gonna be able to get this week's item. Fuck you. If you wanted it, then too bad. Um, I think luckily the item was dog shit. Enough for me to not even remember what it was. They rarely do- they did, like, a couple, like, interesting things for the weeks. Like, you could get a new armor skin. Or, um, you could get, uh, you could get a new visor, and then that's pretty much all I know they've done for the weekly challenge. The rest has been a backdrop, a nameplate, um, uh, like, uh, just an emblem in general. Just an emblem and fucking, yeah, a backdrop or an emblem. That's pretty much mostly what the weekly challenges are, is just getting those when you could have just made it so people could make their own emblem. Um, but you don't want us to be able to do that like you were able to in Master Chief Collection. I don't know why. If you wanted to try to make, like, please everyone, you fucking failed. You failed to pleasing everybody. Because the only thing you please people with in some aspects was it being free to play. Because kids won't have to ask their parents to buy them the game. That is about the only thing you pleased, was people who can't even afford to buy games um, can play your game. If they have a fucking powerful computer already, or an Xbox One X, or whatever they fucking call it. One S? I don't even remember which one it is, because they're naming as dog shit. They can't even fucking name their new, their new fucking Xbox a normal fucking name. Let's name it, okay, so we have Xbox... Then we had Xbox 2. That could have just been Xbox 2, but they don't like the numbering system, so they did 360. Why? And then Xbox One. Stupid fucking name. I hate that name. No point in it. Xbox One S. Like, X? Like S or X? I don't know. Because you named them so similar to each other that it doesn't make sense and people don't know how to name it. Because one of them is an upgraded version of the Xbox One. The other one is an is the new Xbox. How are you supposed to, like, how is that not confusing to you? How did this fucking marketing team not do this shit? Um, here's another fucking stupid bullshit about xbox is um is all like the like big brother bullshit they tried to pull with xbox one um had to g had to have the connect um you were forced to basically sign in um every day or else your account would get locked out and you wouldn't even be able to play your games um and then i think you'd have to call them um you couldn't trade you couldn't sell your games to um to the aftermarket so like if you had a used game nope can't do that um yeah, you it, online only. You have to be signed in. You can't even be offline um, on Xbox One. And people still bought an Xbox. That's the funny part. It's only until after they got fucking backlash for it. Even, where's the... What the fuck is the marketing team and, like, the development team and just the fucking CEOs doing over there? Why do you think these are fucking good ideas to begin with? Like, I... I it's like the people who work, like, again, the people who work in these, like, in the game industry now aren't even gamers anymore. They're just people who want to make as much money as possible. Um, because it's a industry, it's a, one of the most popular industries, um, and it, it's lucrative. So if they can get into that market, then they're gonna just fucking try to show as much money out of people as possible. They don't give a shit about the fucking games. Um, it's, it's great. So... Yeah. Um, Halo Infinite is going down the drain. And uh, I already got what I wanted, which was the ODST armor. Now it's just a matter of am I willing to play um, lackluster gameplay um, with guns that are literally just like ca carbon cop. Like, the thing is, is like the problem with like Halo, right? Is like, th of course, they have the same standard guns, which is fine. Because they work. 
The problem is that how they do them is also like completely dependent on what sh it's just completely just there's no i don't know if they ever do balances for their stuff at all for like the weapons or anything i think they just leave them how they are and then just leave them be um where's like half the brute weapons in the game they gave you a mangler which is just that one like six wheeled shotgun like short shotgun that looks like a pistol you know that one that i had earlier um that i died with immediately that's literally just the mangler except the mangler has like a stupid fucking arched bullet thing that is annoying to use um and that is a four shot kill or it's a one shot in melee kill um it is really fast um with melee it's faster than just meleeing in general um it is just that gun uh, there's almost no difference other than how the bullets work. That is about it. It's the same thing. Because if you shoot someone with it, it's kind of like a shotgun. Um, you melee people with it mostly. And it's just like shot, bang. Similar to the shotgun, which was shot, bang. Um, Halo Infinite has a slightly... I don't like how the shotgun looks. And I like the sawed-off shotgun and the other ones more. Because I just like how it looks more than the like this auto shotty gun that is kind of dog shit and it has barely any ammo um and uh the pistol needs to be nerfed so people can't just fucking spam it all the fucking time and actually use the other weapons instead of making them obsolete i hate the pistol fuckers i i, I hate the the pistol boys um because it's just it's just too good of a gun in some aspects because the thing is whenever i use it right my aim i guess fucking sucks ass because like i whenever i use it i just still somehow run out of i'm just one or two bull i'm like one bullet away from killing someone with the pistol 90 percent of the time another thing that they need to fix as well is make the switching weapons not fucking slow um gravity hammer needs to be fixed so people can't just kill you like i've had so many situations where i've used the gravity hammer and i've i've used the grappling hook and the gravity hammer and the gravity hammer does not work with the grappling hook sometimes because i'll grapple them and then i'll swing the hammer down and it does absolutely nothing it doesn't make the bang noise it just does the full animation nothing happens then they melee me and kill me instantly i've had that happen more than i sh it should be that's happened to me probably five or six times um which is not good at all. It shouldn't happen at all. Um, and the range for it as well is also bullshit. It, the gravity hammer is busted um, in Halo Infinite. Um, the beam sword and the grappling hook is the worst fucking thing you could have ever added to the game. Um, adding the grappling hook was one of the worst things you could have done to the fucking halo multiplayer because it is just so top like it is cool in some ways the worst part about it is everything else when it comes to the beam sword because you grapple someone with the beam sword and that person instantly dies um the beam sword needs to be nerfed there needs to be less health on it um so people can't just get about 15 to 20 kills with it um in a short period of time if they have a grappling hook uh, that should not be the case at all. And, um, like, another issue is that there's n almost nobody's using the ping system like they should. I feel like I'm the only person using the ping system in Halo Infinite, and no one else is using it. Um, encourage more communication within the team, um, because whenever people are playing, um, they don't want to use voice chat, and they don't have the time to text. So add more... A better communication wheel or something um, that makes it a lot easier because a lot of people just aren't using it like they should um, and nobody and people are too antisocial or so have too much social anxiety to use voice chat because it's usually the people who are behind the microphone are complete dog shit um, usually um, or their kids or something 
Um, that's another issue is that the game, the fact that the game has become free to play, the fucking anti cheat that they chose to use is already been cracked multiple times in the past because other games have used it, and it's it's already being used for like cheating. The, you making it free to play has enticed more people to be able to cheat in the game easily because it's a free to play game. And another issue is again, these people can also change their name tags and easily be able to avoid problems. Um, Almost instantaneously whenever people try to report them. It's a bugged system. That's another issue. Is that the way to report people is really stupid and out of the way. In other games, you could literally just hit a report button and you're given a couple options of what they're doing. Griefing, trolling, not playing the game, right? You don't get that. You have to open up a fucking website to report someone. It is so stupid. On PC, at least. I don't know about consoles. But on PC, it just opens up a form page and they don't respond. It's it, you're, you're sending a report to a company that is not even going to respond to it. And by that time, whenever someone does respond to it, um, it's not going to happen. They're, they've already changed their name tag or they've gone to a different account. It doesn't matter. It's just there's no way of being able to fight against it because they're too slow. It's like the equivalent of like a DMV but for reporting issues i don't know um if the future of halo infinite is is bleak it is um it's not really gonna be uh very good what's gonna happen i guess um what we're what we get is what we have and we're stuck with it and all I can say is that we're we're probably going to be pretty screwed because they're just going to keep doing it. They haven't really listened to the audience. People keep complaining about the weekly challenges. People keep complaining, um, keep complaining about the store and how they're selling shit, and they're still doing not much about it. And it's just it's just really bad. And the stuff that they are adding to the game isn't even like warranted at all. And you know it's there for the sake of trying to make money. It has no soul. Like Halo Infinite's multiplayer is has no soul. It's just a bunch of bullshit business practices thrown together and thrown out the door. And we're here to stuck with it, uh, st uh, stick with it. And also Big Team Battle, the fact that they've acknowledged it and still have not fixed it. They're, they're they said they're working on it should have been fixed at the beginning. It should have not been an issue. Why is this an issue? Um, why is this such a huge fucking problem? You are a massive company and a massive... There's hundreds, thousands of people working at 343. Not one of them could fix this issue. It's, it's like not even like in that time period. Like you have so much money already that you could have done to fix it earlier. But obviously cutting costs i don't know treat your employees with uh you know like they're human don't make them fucking crunch all the time don't make them work like 40 hour no like sorry like 100 hour weeks or something like that right just stop treating them like dog shit give them some time deadlines are important i understand that deadlines are really really important to make sure things are getting done the issue is that you're also you need to give them more time. If you, by the time you meet the end, and they still have this much to do, give them more deadlines. Like obviously the deadlines are helping, but give them more time because if you don't have deadlines, then nothing's gonna get done. Uh, hence, uh, like Valve, right? Valve hasn't made a game in so long because they don't have deadlines. They just push it out the door when they push it out the door. The problem with that is a lot of people just kind of stop um, because there's no deadline. There's no pressure um to work at it um which is the problem that's why we have deadlines as far as i know unless yeah unless it's just to push a game out the door as soon as possible you, here's your time to develop it so we can start marketing it doing all that stuff for me i feel like deadlines should be just there to keep them going um it's it's a it's a goal um every time so yep I think I've almost touched on everything about Halo Infinite and how much I fucking hate. Same with, like, the Halo series in general. I feel like I, I've kind of given an idea of, like, the Halo in general. For the most part. I haven't done, like, Halo 1, Halo 2's multiplayer. Um, 
but I did do Halo 3 and Reach for a little bit. Not as much of Reach, more of Halo 3. Because I found Halo 3 more enticing and more enjoyable than Halo uh, Reach. Um, mostly because you don't have all those like loadout system that loadout system where like you have jetpacks and holograms and all that stuff um so your brain can like focus way more on just you see the enemy kill them kind of deal um also um character collision what the fuck happened to that why is that gone you've made uh, like melee fights more frustrating to deal with because you can clip behind somebody in that time period and just fucking just melee them and they just somehow win anyways it is awful it's stupid um meleeing also needs to be more consistent as well the shielding system is kind of a little dumb but no not dumb but like it needs to be slightly balanced um again pistol needs to be nerfed way down Way, 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 way down. Pistols shouldn't be that relied on at all. It should... The point of a pistol assault rifle combo is to basically... Um, you, you use the assault rifle, then you switch to the pistol to take them out, right? That's kind of like the system, right? Is that you use the pistol... Use the assault rifle to take down the shield. Use the pistol to take them out. That was the point. It's completely lost that point and made it so the pistol is, for some reason, a slightly worse version than the pistol in Master Ch like Halo 1. Um, and what you ended up doing was that everyone is completely reliant on the pistol. You focus way too much on that. You need to fix that immediately. Don't make people rely on the pistol so much because the pistol should not be able to take down a shield and kill someone in one clip. Um, yeah, you can aim, right, but you're not, you should not be able to do that, like you did, like they did in the other games. Um, that's what the point of the pistol was, was that it was to finish someone off. Um, and you even get medals for it, you get rewarded for, you, for switching to the pistol. It's called quick draw, or something like that. Um, you get rewarded for doing that, but no one gives a shit fix that and also um the weapon spread again like um if there was a way for you to choose which one you started with like either okay so you know how some people prefer the assault rifle some people prefer the ar or the br make it so you can choose right Cho the loadout is just literally okay does this person prefer let them prefer okay i prefer the assault rifle or i prefer the br because they're both pretty much the same. The only difference is that the BR is a long-range weapon and sucks at close range. Um, it's it's good for long range and medium range. The um, assault rifle is medium and close range. Really good for those. They're both on the same level. I c I've been killed by people with an assault rifle with a BR because they have an advantage. But the only advantage that the BR has is that it's it's you can scope in. You can long range and... Um, take them out of the long range but then they could just switch to their pistol and bang 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 if you're not going to nerf the pistol uh then just give the person the ability to choose whether they start with the br or the assault rifle and that's how it works but obviously they've already like put it into their system right they've already put it in the system where the item like shelf bullshit you know like the fucking like where the weapons are held um those like things that those on the walls and stuff like that that's the only places they can be instead of being on the ground um like in the other games is that they they're like oh well if that person goes over there and then grabs the br and they like you ha say you have a br and over there is an assault rifle they grab it and now they have a br flat then fine that's fine just it'll just have the they already don't give a shit enough to where whenever you drive a car suddenly the fucking skin texture pops up they don't they didn't even make an animation for that so why does it fucking matter then um if they're not even gonna put effort into um the weapon like fucking weapon not weapon skins but fucking vehicle skin bullshit we're like oh they got into this vehicle okay now suddenly it's red out of nowhere no animation to like like hologram you know kind of thing and whenever someone it switches to someone else then it'll do the whole animation again and switch to their skin no let's not put effort into doing that because that's interesting and, and creative um let's just have it just appear 
um, out of nowhere. And no one complains about that, so fuck it. Like, why does it matter if to you you see an assault rifle and to them they see a BR and when they grab it they get a BR all of a sudden? Then whatever. Fuck it. Um, like, or like, for instance, like, instead, it should be like, instead of it being like an assault rifle, it's just automatically the weapon that you have. So instead of it being assault, you never see the assault rifle other than when other players have it. Um, so then whenever you go up to that BR, you grab it, and then, ba-bam, you have more ammo for your BR. Um, if you really care about it like that. Obviously, like, with the assault rifle, the only way you get ammo for it is when people drop it from their corpse. It's just, a, it, if they don't give a shit enough, the companies don't give a shit enough to make sense, then might as well go ahead and do it, right? Because they already don't give a shit anymore. They... They have like the um, repulsor thing, they have the uh, the grappling hook, and they have the uh, what was it? They have the the spotter one. Uh, another thing that they also don't do is fix the fucking radar. A lot of people don't know about the radar system and how it works or anything about it. No one ever uses it. Um, Make it just like Halo 3, where your icon appears whenever you're walking, and whenever you don't walk, it doesn't appear. Give an indication that that happens uh, whenever they walk, whenever they run. Show that indication on the, on the screen. Whenever they crouch, doesn't. The only way I knew about this at all is because I was told about it by my friend who had experience with Reach and um, Halo 3 and stuff like that. Um, there was no way for me to know because there's no explanation for it. Um... Especially when this is a free-to-play game and you, you should be expected that your players are going to be new to the game series. Um, you should have explained this, which you don't. Um, so a lot of people are probably getting pissed off for no reason because they don't know about this one specific game mechanic that you did not tell them. Um, another thing about the um, weapon things is um, slightly more consistent weapon system um, with like weapon box systems i forgot what you call them um because they're random and sometimes you know how in challenges this is the worst part about it you know how in challenges they expect you to use specific guns what if you go to a map and it doesn't even spawn there at all for one entire game it just does not exist um make it more consistent please instead of having it random every game on what weapons are there don't do that that is stupid because obviously you're going to force people to play with your fucking weekly objective bullshit. Now people are going to have to keep fucking playing your game because, well, obviously you like that. But for a lot of people, they don't have all the time in the world. It does not respect your time. Uh, Halo Infinite does not respect your time um, at all. Uh, because uh, at least definitely at launch, they did not respect your time. Because you had, you had to, um, first of all, you had to... Uh, get the right map for the mission you had to get the right weapon spawns for that you had to make sure that you got the right weapons to spawn in your map um and then you had to actually get the kills or the specific objective done within the time period that you you have um and <clears throat> weapon swaps fuck weapon swaps Fuck the weekly challenge system. I hate it. It's so stupid. They, this is why they made it free. They knew for a fact they could have probably charged you $60 and you get the game when it's, once it comes out. And, but you have a multiplayer for now. So they're charging you $60 for something that you already don't have. What they should have done is charge you $30 for the campaign. And if you are sorry, $30 for the for the fucking multiplayer with like regular progression system and everything. This is what an ideal world. And then 30 extra dollars for the campaign part portion because most people don't really even play that when there's like the major portion which is the multiplayer. <clears throat> At least that's what I'm like – that's what I think uh, as far as I know. Like it's just like you know for a fact that a lot of people aren't going to play on your, your fucking campaign um, unless there's like you know that dedicated group of people who grew up with the game who want that mul that campaign. People still complain about Battlefield not having a campaign whenever they don't have a campaign in their games, or when Call of Duty doesn't have a campaign and they don't have a campaign in their games. When a majority of people who that majority of people 
already don't give a shit about the campaign. I never gave a shit about the campaigns when I played Black Ops 2. Um, I did not give a shit because the story sucks ass. Uh, and same with like the um, like Modern Warfare 3 just got way over the top. It's just a lot of people don't care about the campaign to actually want to play it. And then you play like fucking and then there's the people who do which have a louder voice and those people specifically want the campaign despite it sucking ass and then your these companies are on top of expecting to have a good multiplayer right there's expected to have a good multiplayer on top of that they're also expected to have a good campaign and whenever you can't please both because you don't have enough time um because your 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 ceo is telling you that you need to finish the game in six months um so you only have so much time to focus on this shit and um it's just so stupid that's another problem with like game companies like triple a companies is that they have this mindset that they need to release a game every year but what happened to just taking their time with three years in development with like over 400 piece like staff right with roadmaps and like deadlines I, again, like, yeah, I feel like it should have been $30 for the multiplayer with everything from the past ones. This is the ideal thing. $30 for everything in the past ones and everything that I want there. And also a normal progression system where you unlock things naturally through playing the game. And, may, of course, you can do, you can have missions if you really wanted to in there. And you can have, like, weekly, oh, if you complete this week, uh, this week of missions, then you get a cool fucking emblem bullshit or like some fucking like armor coating if they really wanted the armor coating and on top of that for the thirty dollars fine have the fucking store but don't focus on it so goddamn much man you do not need to focus on it that much and lock off like eat no, no no get rid of the fucking store get rid of it don't have it in the first place at all um and sure Put a fucking battle pass in there, even though, actually, no, fuck you, no battle pass, fuck off, no battle pass, don't need it, make everything that you unlock in the game within the game, and add new things in the game to add, uh, to unlock as well, so then you can keep people playing your game, because you're adding more stuff, and you're also upping the level cap um, to the game in prog with progression of adding more things to the game, um, Add for you had the forge mode, you had all of that. That would have been an ideal game, and it's only $30 for it. That would have been such a huge PR bonus right there. $30 for, like, thousands of hours of content? That is unheard of in a AAA company. Unheard of today. Um... And then on top of that, if people really wanted to buy the fucking, like, this second portion, you spend $30 for the campaign, that totals out for $60. Then people would have, and then you can sell as, as a bundle. Here's the cam multiplayer and the campaign together for $60. Easy. And then you would have been able to just do that. Sell the can the multiplayer so if people don't give a shit about the fucking mult like the campaign so you didn't fucking waste it too much dev time just make it thirty bucks for the fucking multiplayer. There you go. That would have been an, a really nice system, really simple. Um, and you know it's only thirty dollars, so if it's worth it, then go ahead and pick it up. Why not? Because the developers were so cool in having all this stuff. I want to support them. Let me go ahead and buy the campaign, and um, keep playing their game. You know, keep playing it and showing that I love what they did. Um, and just if you they want to add more stuff to it, more cosmetics and things like that, go ahead. But they they completely like they went back multiple steps they went back so many steps with halo infinite like the customization is lacking um it's pretty much the same customization as uh as master chief collection and i guess reach it's the same like customization setting they did have not evolved on that like what if i want a different leg like plating from the other one what if i want two different ones why not right um what if i want a different boots or something like uh different knee pads of course like change one knee pad looks like this the other looks like this uh 
same with like legs or like the tech suit like you did in halo 3 like let you change the color of the tech suit and change like what it, the texture of it like different kinds of tech suits there's so many things like cosmetics because if that's like the progression system in halo that could have been what the game was but we did not get that in the end we did not and there that's the problem is that it's it's already in too deep they've already designed everything with the game they there's no way they cannot backstep and just completely redesign it they will not do that no triple a company has ever gone back and like oh i mean like this is what people want you know what let's just go ahead and add this in later and just completely update how our, our armor system works they can't do that now because they've already released it and they think that oh we can't do that now um even though they could easily do it and just completely change it like fucking who cares Right? You give everybody the same shit they had before. You're just changing how it all works. Um, and not only that, you're adding more things to the game. Post-launch. Even though I fucking hate live service, uh, what am I What am I supposed to do? Just There's nothing I can do because I don't run the companies. And Yeah, I don't know, man. That's my rant. That's my, like, one or one and a half hour or so rant on Halo Infinite. Um, hope you enjoyed. Because I doubt anyone's gonna fucking watch it. My channel's dead. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and upload it anyways and get that shit done. So.